Hey, what fart friendships? I am. Um... Y qué onda, cómo están? Espero estén increíble. Si no están increíble. <laughs> No se preocupen porque la Sailor ya subió un nuevo video y se la van a pasar bomba. Amigas, ¿qué onda? ¿Cómo están? Espero que estén increíbles. Yo ando al 100 y subiendo. Salud por andar al 100 y subiendo. La vida de hoy se los dejaré como un misterio. Como pudieron ver por el nombre del título de este video y por mi intro tan bilingual realness... Hoy lo que, les voy a, lo que les voy a venir sirviendo va a ser mi primer tutorial de Beauty Blogger en inglés. Beauty Blogger. Voy a hacerlo mejor, amigas, por intentar explicar todo, güey, y todo lo voy a intentar hacer en inglés. Si no saben inglés, no se preocupen. Todo va a estar subtitulado. Y si no les gusta ver cosas subtituladas, no sean huevones, güey. Está muy fácil leer abajito y así. Pero, pues, bueno, hermanas, vamos a empezar de una vez, porque, pues, no vamos a alargar esto tanto, porque si no, el video va a durar dos horas y aparte ni siquiera sé cómo me va a maquillar, entonces también tengo que cifrar eso ahorita. Así que, pues, bueno, si les interesa verme maquillándome y hablando en inglés y, pues, así, güey, vengan. Acompáñenme en esta maravillosa aventura que va a ser... Pues hacer lo que les acabo de decir. Modo bilingüe activado a partir de ahora. Ay, güey, no estaba preparado para hablar en inglés. <risa> ok, friendships. We should start now. First, I'm going to start with two primers. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Boreless Booty Primer and also another one by e.l.f., which is the Jelly Pop Dew Primer. Let me just put these two on my face. And then I'll tell you the next step. I really wanted to do this video since like a long time ago, but I was too lazy of, because I always think about doing the subtitles for this video, but I think it's time now. I guess this is gonna be the only video that I will have on my channel that's in English, but I don't know. I think it's gonna be a fun idea. And also like a lot of people have told me that I should do this video, so... That's what I'm doing right now. ¿Qué? 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 ¿A poco? México aprobó hoy la ley sobre cultivo, producción, consumo, distribución, intrusión y venta de la marihuana para consumo personal. Are we gonna get high? Okay, friendships, I'm back. I mean, you didn't even notice that I was gone, but I stopped recording for like 30 minutes or so. Because a friend was here and I needed to really concentrate on the on this video because it's not usual for me to be speaking in English for a YouTube video. But he left already, so we can start now. Let's go with foundation. For foundation today, I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Stick one. This is in the shade Toasted Coconut. And I'm gonna use a brush to blend this foundation in first. Okay, foundation is semi-blended. After I blend my foundation with the brush, I take a beauty blender or whatever sponge. I'm just gonna use this sponge and bounce it all over my face. Like if you see any streaks of your brush, just try to blend them in. Cool. And after that, I'm gonna go ahead and use concealer. Right now, I'm using two concealers. This is the Born This Way by Too Faced. And I use the, the shades Golden Beige and Marshmallow. Golden beige is really dark for me and marshmallow is really light. So I just like mix these two and like just hope for it to look good, honestly. I really need to buy a new concealer. And I think like the, the concealer that I've loved the most from the ones that I've tried, it's the one by, who was it? Oh my God, I completely forgot. But it's one that Rosie McMichaels put me on. She said she loved it and I just started to love it too. I'll just put a, an image of the concealer here because right now I cannot remember the name. And on, on my eyelids, like I, I use only the marshmallow concealer, which is the lightest one. And let's just go ahead and blend all of this with the same sponge that I did my foundation with. Okay, so concealer is already blended into my skin to perfection. Well, not perfection, but at least on camera, it looks good. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and set all of my face right now. 
And for that, I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty powder in the shade Cupcake. It's a really great powder, I love it. It makes you look like you have a filter on sometimes if you use it accordingly. Remember the sides of the nose, okay? And after I put down all of that powder there, I'll just take a brush, take a little bit more powder, not, not a lot actually, and just set the rest of my face. Whenever I do like my, my powder, I just use a little bit of setting spray just to feel a little more fresh. And then we're gonna do eyebrows. For me, it's really easy to do my eyebrows now since I did my video, how, how could I say that in English? Planchándome las cejas. So like they're really easy to fill in now. So the only thing I do is like take an and like a brow brush. This one is by Anastasia. I've had this brush for years now, so I don't even know which brush it is, but I love this brush. And for brows, I use the KBD Vegan Beauty Pomade in the shade Graphite. I start to like just do hair-like strokes. I mean, I'm not really that careful with this. I'm just trying to give them like a little bit more color. What do you guys think about my English at this moment? I mean, I know that this video like just started but and after doing the pomade i just use this this one is by kbd vegan beauty too and this is like a brow powder brow struck dimension powder and this is in the sh same shade graphite which is like the darkest shade and just do more hair like strokes the powder like looks a little bit darker than the pomade so i i think it helps to like give my brows like a little bit more I mentioned. Let's just start with eyes. I don't really know exactly what I want to do with my eyes, so I think I'm just gonna do one of my eyes off camera and then I'll be back so I can show you how I did it. And yeah. Okay, friendships, I'm back and one of my eyes is done. Let's just start with the tutorial now. We're gonna use two palettes on the eyes on the eyes today. I'm gonna use the Beetlejuice, the waiting room. This one is from the Melt Cosmetics and Beetlejuice collab. Beautiful palette. And also, we're gonna use one of my favorite palettes, the Bis la, la Paleta de Contorno de Bis. First, I'm gonna go with the Waiting Room palette. And I'm gonna take this shade from the top. I don't even know how to explain this kind of brush, but it's like kind of flat, but not that flat. And I'm gonna take this, this shade up here, which is called Orbituary, which is like a really deep wine shade. And I'm gonna put this on the outer part of my eye, just as if we were creating a wing. You guys know that I'm really extra, so I make my wings like psh, go really up. And when you're doing this, like you want to make sure that you're like looking straight ahead at the mirror. And I'm just gonna drag it into like half of my eye. Cool. So we have that. And I'm just gonna take the cleanest blending brush I have because I don't have any clean brushes right now. Honestly, I don't even remember the last time I washed my makeup brushes and I know that's really bad, but that's just me. I wish I were like a, a professional beauty blogger who always washes their brushes, but I'm not. So with the counter palette from Bisou, I'm gonna take this shade right here on the, I don't know, inner part, and also use that shade to blend the edges of the shade that we just used. Like really blend it. Blend, blend, blend. Perfect, now it looks something like that. My eye is tearing up a lot today. I don't know what's going on, but. Okay, once that is blended, we're just gonna take so a little bit more of that shade, the same one, which is called Orbituary. Try to bring it back to life just a little bit. I'm gonna take this shade, which is called Lydia which is my favorite shade in this palette, by the way. It's like a metallic red. And I'm just gonna take that one with my finger. I don't know which finger I should use. This, okay, yeah. All over your lid. I really love using my fingers for these kind of shades because they show up a, a lot better. And it's also like really easy to use your fingers instead of a makeup brush. Don't take this shade like really up to your crease, just on your lid. A little bit on your crease, but like just a little bit. And we just want like a little bit of space here, like just a little. And now with our pinky finger, I'm gonna take this shade, which is called Yuno. I don't 
I don't even know how to explain this shade. It's like a kind of silvery, kind of copperish. I don't know. I think it's like the... I don't have any other shade like this, like this one in my collection. So I, I'm just taking it here. Mix it a bit with the red. And then with the same clean blending brush that we used, I'm gonna take the that same, that really light shade from the Bisou palette. And I'm gonna blend all of the edges. Like I want some of the glitter to go like all over my eyes. So now that we already did that, I'm just gonna take, we're just gonna go ahead and do our liner. For that, I use the same brush that I use for my eyebrows. I just clean it a bit, like with some micellar water. I don't even know how you how to say agua micellar in English. I think it's micellar water, something like that. And I'm gonna use the same product that I use for my eyebrows, but as liner. Look straight into your mirror and give it the angle that you want. Okay, so I just did a line going almost straight up and then I'm gonna take it here. I mean, liner really depends on your eye shape or whatever you're more into. I really enjoy a really thick wing. This is not for the faint of heart. And just fill all of that in. Doesn't have to be perfect at this point. I'm gonna use uh, a black eyeshadow after this. Whenever I do my liner like this, I try to bring it like up until here and also i i do my inner corner liner i don't really know how to explain this okay something like that okay i'm gonna use a brush like this cut kind of flat kind of not and then take the black shade on this palette this black shade you guys it's really good i love it and just tap it all over your liner. Be scared, don't be scared of black eyeshadow. Black eyeshadow is my best friend. I bring the black just a little bit inside and try to go through my lash line and also like kind of blend the black here. So after that, I just take again like the same metallic red shade, my finger, and just go over what I did before. Then just blend all of the edges again. I take some of the black shade with the eyebrow brush and liner brush that I use and go through the inner corner liner. Now for the lower part of my eye, black eyeshadow, tap it on the outside part and blend this into your liner. Cool, something like that. Then pinky finger, red metallic shade and under our eye with a, a smaller brush i'm gonna take the the shade that i used before that i don't know how to explain the color just put it right here just like under the liner use the same brush that we used to blend everything before and blend it okay you guys and that's all of the eyeshadow part of this look i really like this kind of look like it makes me feel like really mean so just mascara here oh i forgot my waterline on my waterline i use this is on tinta line de visu in the shade seven which is like a red red pencil on my waterline okay after waterline is done i'm just gonna do mascara but as you know i like to smudge it a bit with the same mascara wand and for this look i smudge it more on the outside part just kind of smudge it and my camera is about to stop recording so i'll just do my i'll just put my falsies off camera and i mean it's not that i don't want you i don't want to tell you guys which falsies i'm using but I don't even know which falsies are these because all, all of my lashes are like really dirty and I just saw these and I'm like, okay, those look kind of clean. So let's just use those. But yeah, I don't, I don't really remember which lashes are these. So let me just do my lashes and I'll be right back. Our eyes are done, you guys. So that means that the hardest part of this makeup is done. I was really stressed about trying to explain my I makeup in English, like I don't even know how to explain my makeup, my makeup in Spanish. So that was a really hard task for me, but I think I did it quite okay, I guess. So now I'm just gonna do my contour. I don't really do a really heavy contour, so whatever. I'm just gonna use a brush like this one and I'm gonna take this shade in the middle. And for contour, I like, re I start here, like on the, 
where my patilla starts and I put most, most of the color like right there slowly try to blend it just like that do the same on the other side I also do a little bit of contour right here just a little bit and contour my nose when I do that like I just take the bristles of the brush and try to make it like <laughs> smaller with my hands and just wish for the best because i'm not really that go that good at doing not nose contour i mean i just go with it i mean when you're pretty you can do whatever and you're still gonna look pretty so whatever and just try to blend it a little bit with the same sponge that i blended my foundation with i mean we're looking really cute already so now for blush lately i've been really like natural with my blush like this, this is my favorite blush palette. This is the Fairy Blush Palette by Lightly Makeup. You won't be able to see this shade, I guess, because of the green screen, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this one, which is called Sunstone. Take the cleanest brush that I can get and just blush things up a bit. If my contour is here, my blush goes there. And I try to like kind of mix it with my shadow. A bit of blush on the tip of my nose, a little bit here. Now, just so we can look like even more snatched, put some powder on the sides of my face. And I also put a bit on the bridge of my nose. And while we have all of that powder, we can proceed to do our lips. I don't know if I, I want to wear highlight today. Mm. Okay, let's just do a bit. I'm gonna use a... Uh, Melody and Chromey palette from Wet n Wild. I'm gonna use this one on the top. Tip of my nose. I mean, we have powder there, but... Bridge. This palette smells so good, you guys. Every time I use it, I'm like, oh my god, this smells delicious. Let's proceed to do our lips. I'm gonna use again the same brush that we use for our eyebrows and also eyeliner. And I'm gonna take a bit of black lipstick. The one that I'm using is by Black Moon Cosmetics in the shade Sleepwalker. The best black lipstick I've ever tried. I've told you guys before that I used to love Caviar by MAC. I mean, it's a really good black lipstick, but I think this one is way better. And I'm just going to try to line my lips with this. For my lips, I just follow my natural lip line and I just do a little bit of overline on the cupid's bow but like just a little and now with a brush i'm going to try and blend that just a little bit just blend it okay and after that i'm gonna take this is by nyx and this is the shade made in taiwan okay i don't know what shade is this but this came with the sub the sabrina collection i think it's like a kind of red no it's like a wine color not completely red okay i'm really enjoying that lip combo actually okay and now just to add like a little bit more spice to this look as if this look needed more spice i'm just gonna do some random dots okay perfect let's just do some setting spray now and oh my god you guys this is the finished look And yeah, you guys, what did you guys think about my attempt at a tutorial in English? I think I did pretty good. I mean, it was kind of nerve wracking to me to do this video. And I like my makeup, but I don't know if I did explain all the procedure correctly. I had fun and I hope you guys had fun with this video too. So I told you guys before, like I really wanted to do this video since a long time ago, but I was too lazy thinking about the subtitles. And if you guys want to know how I learned English, I learned English by myself, actually. I was an otaku, like since I was a kid and I was a gamer too. And also I used to work at some call centers, like customer service for people from the United States. Los gringos están bien locos, hermanas. I... So, I mean, this look is finished, so this video is almost finished, too. So, let's just go ahead and switch back to Spanish in 3, 2, 1. Amigas, sal la verga, güey. Estaba bien harta hablar en inglés.
O sea, sí sé inglés, amigas, pero hace mucho no me ponía a hablar tanto en inglés. Enfrente, y luego aparte enfrente de la cámara y luego tratando de explicar mi maquillaje. O sea, ya saben, güey, que yo batallo para explicar mi maquillaje hasta en español. No sé cómo lo logré hacer en inglés. Por favor, pónganme en los comentarios si creen que hice un buen trabajo. Yo honestamente siento que es un trabajo decente. O sea, de que tal vez no fue el mejor trabajo, pero pues... I did my work y pues estuvo de que bien. Cuéntenme también en los comentarios si les, si les gustó este video, si les gustaría ver más videos en inglés, que lo dudo. Y yo también no sé si me gustaría hacer otro video en inglés porque sí. Sí estuvo complicado eso, esto de estarse concentrando tanto y hablar en inglés y así, pero pues se logró, hermanas. Entonces de que ya... Aparte, este video ya lo había grabado hace un chingo, güey. O sea, lo grabé, había grabado el tutorial en inglés, pero perdí unos archivos de video, los eliminé por accidente y pues valió verga. Pero pues bueno, aquí andamos, espero que les haya gustado el video de hoy. No olviden suscribirse a mi canal, otra vez, ese capítulo de Facebook, para que es una notificación cada vez que es Sailor Fag, o sea, yo subo un nuevo video a su canal. También no olviden seguirme en Instagram, arroba Sailor Fag. Desde ahí les mando sus saludines y también ahí luego hacemos otras dinámicas de las que se pierden si no me están siguiendo en Instagram. Y pues nada, hermanas, espero se hayan divertido con el video de hoy. O sea, yo la neta sí lo sufrí un poco porque fue demasiada concentración, pero al final sí me la pasé, sí me la pasé bien. Siento que donde me la voy a pasar peor va a ser en edición, subtitulando todo. Y aparte, a como hablo, wey, a como hablo el español, no, hombre, güey. Entonces, pues, espero mínimo hayan disfrutado el esfuerzo que hice en este video. Y si no, pues ni pedo. Este, vamos a pasar los saludos del video de hoy. El primer saludo del video de hoy es para Freak Shooter, que me hizo esta ilustración del consultorio del amor. Muchas gracias, te quedó muy bonita, muy cute, te mando un beso y un abrazo. El segundo saludo del video de hoy es para Stanciola Seventh, que hizo un maquillaje inspirado en mí. Aquí lo pongo, también te ves muy perra, amiga, muy goth, me encanta, te mando un besote. Y el último, pero no menos importante, salió el video de hoy, es para Hera Notes, que hizo esos apuntes de la Sailor Fag, con todo y dibujito y así, te quedaron muy bonitas Hera Notes, te mando un saludo y un besote, y sigues dando notas, te quedan muy perra. Ahora sí que sin nada más que decir, porque me tengo que poner a grabar el consultorio del amor, o sea, este, este look y sus aretes son por el consultorio del amor, así que pues bueno, ya tengo que ponerme a hacer eso, porque ya se, va, se me va a hacer muy tarde. Espero que tengan un bonito día, una bonita vida y recuerden que Sailor Fag les ama a todos. Arigato. Bye, amigas. Goodbye, friends. Muah.